Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's uh, me, Sebastian Boyd, gaming with uh, Style Eagle. Hello, everybody. I'm back. And today, hopefully, we can end up Doki Doki in this episode. Wait. Oh boy. Well, that is uh, soon after we leave Sebastian to make more choices. Ah, uh, so nice. Oh, look at that. Did you see her? Yeah, video? I saw. Just the little. Like, I think that was Monica. Hi, Sebastian. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best to you today. Aw, Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. She really late again. Consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Why do you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what got into you lately? Look. I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. Guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hold us. I don't guess so cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki. No, but. Oh, jeez. Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? Oh, right? well, that's rude. <laughs> oh nice man, day. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh huh. You m must have a lot of determination. Bump. bump no, I bump, was thinking, would bump, you do it? Bump, bump. He did it. Starting this club <laughs> and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. Wah wah wah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> but I guess passion motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Sebastian. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already had plans today. Ah, that's so Yoi. That's correct. Sebastian is already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I already got him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose? It, I would just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. I'm think... Oh. Thank you for okay. understanding. <laughs> Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea for us? Not at all. Thank you very much. There's one thing that can make my reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea, not to mention for yourself as well. Yori stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yori hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movement. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pistol? Thanks, I'll be right back. Oh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. Get your in hand, Yuri ho Yuri hoys. <laughs> out of the classroom. Ah. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like th this time. She's just filling up the wild pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored, just waiting here, so I decide to go look for... I don't like the music change. Let's see. Mm. I, wanna, most... I wanna take a listen. Er, actually, no, let's see what going. Ah. Oh, it was sudden change, that's why I didn't like it. Oh. I unplugged the headphones for a second, so that's how I was able to hear it. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fence. I saw it heading down the hallway. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh god, it, it's he doing what I'm thinking she's doing. Hmm. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I wish to call and peer around. Yoi? Oh. Yeah. What the hell? Is time getting rewind? Oh dear, she's gonna go forward in time without me and can force in blood right now. Thanks for waiting patiently. Sebastian, do you like oolong tea? Oh yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yo he sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. Yeah, that's a bit obsessive for Arlo. 
You really do this probably, probably, don't you? Of course. Shouldn't do anything less when I'm making cheese for it though. Even if it's not an expo on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you only be more impressed. Oh, perhaps I will. You fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts humming a little to herself. You must be in good mood now. He said so. I was letting it show. And you noticed? I was doing a little bit of thinking and decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out I'm not very hard for me to do when it's you who I'm around anyways. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Sebastian. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. What's your pour a cup of tea for each of us? Sebastian, I have enough of a request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? And why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. I'm oh, sorry I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Wonder why that is. It's most likely because my cuts. Ah. Uh, my your posture, right? Are you some trouble like that while reading? Yeah, I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Read the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I tell you, since it will go well with the tea. You and I then sit on against the wall with teacups at our side. As if seen, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Her teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hand, but not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a thing. She wears an intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate baffle. Ah, oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the raffles. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that, that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so I don't have any hold of time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. But in that case, there is only totally focused on reading again. Take a chocolate and candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply pops her lip. As if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri expressed. Special, oh, <laughs> Special suddenly breaks. Did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm to just what happened. Um, Sebastian, sorry. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Heavily. I, I can't. Sebastian. Then Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jogs me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Sebastian. My heart. Oh. Why is it super dark now? Mm -hmm. My heart wants up pounding, Sebastian. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Sebastian? You're suddenly pressing my hand against your chest. Okay, I don't like the really gross sounding beating heart. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, why are your eyes so different? See. Huh. I thought your eyes are purple. Those are blue. And even huh. then, the red is still there is still on the edges. Yeah. Huh. Oh, thank Lord. <laughs> Finally, once Monica saved the day. <laughs> it's time to show our poems.
Holy crap! I didn't like how intense I was getting. Uh, man, let's just get your over with. <laughs> Finally, ha uh, You hold my phone to your face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Sebastian, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Uh, what did you like about it? You're too nice to me sometimes, Sebastian. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? You hold my palm to your chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch. Okay then! <laughs> Woo! I'm already on escalating so high. Oh, I mm. forgot about this. I'm not gonna. You can read that yourself, but I'm. Nah. It, they've cast a few times, so I'm gonna be somewhat. Sl nah, no. No. Just make sure you throw it in the cycle bin when you're done. Huh. You can have my phone, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here. Take it. I can't wait any longer. Oh, you read it. <sighs> Mm. I, I, I'm afraid, Sebastian, you can't really ask me to read this one. I can read it, but it's in, I, why is the music picking up? Mm. I can, can read I... it, it's just really slanted. Uh, I'm afraid you won't be able to read it, I think the words are blending in. Yeah, wants kids, I can like read chest. Like she's passing out. Like, like I'm gonna read this at home, and I'm gonna tell you what I can find. Right, yeah, I'm sure it'll be easier to find. Just Yuri's crazy. Thing. Stained in Jesus blood. Christ! Hell! Do you like it? I wrote it for you in case you can tell the poems about. Hey, it's a Yuri. <laughs> More you, importantly, that's why you're sailor. I endowed it with my scent. Mm. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? Oopsies. I I think I'm going to farm it. Ugh. I think the two of us can follow you in that route. Yeah, I'm slightly concerned for both me and David's house, <laughs> but if she's after us, I'm taking your knees, Gaps. Taking you out by the knees. I'll be kicking your knees first. What? You gave your poem to Yuri. Gross. What is with you two? Hmm. It's not like I want to read it anyways. It's, I'm just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyways. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? I, then you can go away. I don't know how else you bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try to talk to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she listens to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to your therapist. I always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care, I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do anything, something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this, it's just like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, that's key. Oh, that's not good. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's his own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Sebastian? It's Monica. Monica's the one that's been the black text. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these... Yeah, it's Monica taking control of the programming. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. 
Wow, that's awkward that only Monica left. Surprise. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Just Monica. Yeah. Oh. Well, we I guess this is a YouTube channel, so we had to throw in some YouTube-esque humor there. Mm. So that's, that's probably that's probably the least favorite part of my, my least favorite part of the game right there. Mm. I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. Don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which should be, shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of mess up? What mess up is you. She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. It means she just could get some high from it. Might even be a, like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think it's you. You keep your distance, then would probably be the best for. Oh yeah, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. How about no? To put it likely, I at least have it together in the head. I know how to treat my club mandibles. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I just we guess we won't worry about your poem. You guys should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes so happy, I won't suffer. As for mine, I work really, really hard on this poem, so I hope it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Mmm, I love this poem. Mm. I did. Blah, 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 blah. She's had really solid with me. Um, well, I guess I can't mess up from writing this poem. I just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. No! Yes, no, actually do press yes. Why? Just press yes. Just. I actually don't remember what happens if you do it, but I know if you press no, then you miss out. So, just press it. Oh, it's the yes. secret poem. A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent much some time together, and she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party, party interfered with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. Contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. That's what's happening to Monica, probably. Her coding is fighting against her. Um, yeah, no, you're right. Probably. She's the only one that's showing that she's knowing what's happening with the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Time for you to figure out the festival preparation. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Ooh! Stagnating air is common for shouting that something. No! You said that last time and my bae died. It's about to happen. Stop patting yourself. Look, I got to pat myself on the back. Can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and sending all this poetry fam pamphlets. Atsuki, can, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Rude. Yo, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do well for you on long as you think it won't help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I don't know what I like to do. You can run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. I'm going to make decorations set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Sebastian? Sebastian is going to help me. Wait, you, you have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like how it like is? What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, what's your cupcakes, please? I do would effing know. I mean, YouTube. All you care about now is dragging Sebastian around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't do, even do anything. Okay, that's why. Why not letting Sebastian decide who to help instead of abusing your pal? I'm not abusing my pal. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Sebastian make the uh, choice. I think this is the, my favorite part of the game. Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Sebastian, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your effing mouth up and let me... Oop. Just let him decide. You shut your mouth. Jeez. Christ. This is never going in. Just make a choice, okay? Uh... Can I not? Uh. Hey, 
Stop it. Stop it. What are you trying to do? It's... Stop! It's messing with don't, me! Don't accidentally choose Yuri, because if you do, then we'll die. So don't... Don't choose... You chose... Uh, that's still my favorite part of the game. Oh, come on. Now look what you've done. Yay, uh, you picked me. I was trying to pick... Not Tsugi. <laughs> Oh, That's boy. some crap. Oh, you can still read it. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? No! Are you having kidding me? Exactly! This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he choose. That's not fair. Giving us all this walk and then taking Sebastian for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yeah, I didn't even give you any walk. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Sebastian away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe just you hate yourself so much that you take it out on other or Is it just, just have you considered killing yourself? Where to say you're a when we need Oh yeah! Uh, and for mine! Alas. It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. I want to spend a little time with him. Is that so much you ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. It's Sebastian. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally, I don't like the music. Stop. I can only imagine what it's like right now. Finally, this is really all I wanted. Sebastian. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to you. Just come to my house and sit. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh, uh, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have some one care about you so much to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. Not very healthy. But if it feels and not to particularly be, something we want either. No, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Fuck because you're gonna snap. Maybe you said there was a no yeah you're right either. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Sebastian. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body Every drop of my blood is screaming your name. I don't want to see your blood, please. I believe you. Or I might end up going back in time again. Maybe. Don't care what the consequences are anymore. Don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Sebastian, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I eat with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin keep, open yeah, and keep, crawl keep, inside keep of reading. you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Sebastian. Tell me you want to be my lover. I want to be your lover, best friend to the end. Does that, that you're saying I can't read, but you can... Oh, yeah. Hey, look, another choice. No, I, I, neither one. She's going to snap well, and kill me, or she's going to snap and kill me. Well, think think this is a thing going on, and you have to make your escape. What would you say first? Uh, yes. All right. I'm going to die. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah. what the... F uh, would you look at someone so strong, able to stab themselves? Wait, three times in a row. So endurant. Hmm. I guess we do get to spend a weekend with Sayori after all. Hmm. WTF. I cannot I read that. I couldn't tell you. Can't. Uh, can't I, but I can read it though. So can yep. I see the mouse? Don't trust you. Are you just gonna skip a lot of stuff again? No, there's nothing to see here. Oh yeah, makes sense. Man, I'm so glad this button showed up. <sighs> Man. Well, I, there can't be a lot. You see, Sebastian, I couldn't. I told you there wasn't a lot left. The girls are just dead. That's not very helpful. Wow. But could you imagine any other way? Even now, we're not checking up on Sayori. Mm. Sayori's dead. She's gone. Yeah, I know. Oh, what the... F hmm. I don't like this. Jesus. 
And that's not a pocket knife, that's a butcher's knife. Oh, uh, where the heck did she keep that knife? It would be very easy, actually. I don't know, in a, in a suit, like how tight it is on her body. I, I, I get what you're saying, Jefferson. Okay, this is unnecessary. Yes, we know. Something's going massively wrong with the coding and yes, the people. Yes, we can see all of these default rectangles. But the, is it necessary for Monica to blab at me in several unknown languages at the same time? Like, Monica, I get it. You're evil. You're the one pulling the string. Now just shut up and come over. Could you, could you jump to, like, the last text box? You care so much that you could probably help us with our patience. That is running out here. Yeah, like, we just makes me want to stab. Oh, bad choice of words. <laughs> I like, say it's a, oh, Would you look at that? Okay. Look at her. Look at her ears still. Oh, I actually can't put my mouse in. Um, but yeah, look at her ears still. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> still, still easy to tease. But... That ears look bad. Like everything Even else looks. Everything good. else is amazing, but of course, I'm of course I'm gonna nitpick at the at the silly stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, this is extremely unnecessary. We got the point, Team Savaldo. Uh, okay. I don't even think the original weekend text went on for this long. With a skip feature, for she's sure. Decaying. Ah, uh, look at that, Sebastian. She's not smiling anymore. Hmm. Oh, well, she looks like she's aging. Do you think the nails are getting longer as she's this is going on? No clue. But the blood turned brown, mm. and her eyes are turning gray. Or my son. Yeah. <sighs> okay, it's so unnecessary for how long this thing is. <laughs> Are you sure that it's gonna be finished in the next hour? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I was, I haven't been keeping track, but I think I think after this nightshade, it will be fine. Can you see anything else while we're spending this, you know, time off? Okay, seriously. <laughs> That makes the two of us. Besides, that wound is not quite like. I don't think she'd be able to get that deep in, cause. Yeah, cause of. Actually, no, yeah. she'd be able to deep in, cause, of, you know. Mm. But how she did it, it wouldn't. It, like it could damage the heart, but I don't. It's just mm. it's awkward how she did that. It, awkward how she stabbed herself three times and then also threw away the knife. No, she probably fell and dropped it. Well, I guess I don't. No, yeah, you're right. Of course she fell. I, I, mean, I was thinking of something else. Okay, let's division, continue with this time. drug trip. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before. Okay, you just gonna know the dead body. Oh, yeah. Ah. Well, she noted. Oh. The, she noted the dead body. Yeah, thank you for noticing at least. Monka says nothing because she's a demonic programming. I'm here. Sebastian, did something happen? Hmm. Notice the dead body on the ground, Monica, and say that to my face again, I dare you. I believe Monica will can quickly take a look. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Sebastian? Wait. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What the hell? She's coding. No! Don't do that! Oh wow, look at how casually Natsuki died. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monk lifts the foil of a mm, tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Her eyes are not in line with her face. I couldn't. I can't stop my from. I can't stop myself from singing. <laughs> I thought my game actually really crushed. Oh, I so, did too. I was like, oh. Not, not because that's how the game is supposed to go, but actually because. Monica. Good trick. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! Oh, there holy you are. Crap! This is like Nopsa blood level type of space magic fee. Hi again, Sebastian. Um, welcome to the literature club. 
Of course, we already knew each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess you could just give over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? Uh, you're that talking you to in the game, Sebastian. Whatever you want to call him. And me. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Sebastian. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Yeah, well, obviously. It would be hard not to. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Nope. That doesn't even make much sense. I even told you to write the game's descriptive download page, didn't I? What? Ah, yep. You can check that later at your own time, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually curious. If they did that, Team Zavala, I... Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can check. Uh, we'll check after this. and You all can imagine his face. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe an explanation. How about that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be enough to try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sairi more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend any with any time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Sebastian? Life. Life. <laughs> yeah. All the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Sebastian. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Sebastian. But now that you're here, you're real. And you're wonderful. You're you know, all I, could, I need. I could just turn off the computer and she's like, nope, nope. bye bye discussion. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why I'd be like, whoop. Okay. But I won't do that. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Sebastian. I don't think I could continue to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of un uh, anonymous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that, the same, that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Sebastian, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Sebastian, will you go out with me? Oh, wow, Sebastian, I'm making you do a difficult choice. Okay. <laughs> Best decision. Just click out now. There's yeah, no yeah, good yeah, way. Work. You, could, you, could, you should probably just do it. I'm so happy. But, er, uh, let's not do it yet. You really are, you really are my everything, Sebastian. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Sebastian. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anyone will get it in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there was a folder called Characters Right in the game. All yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is my second least favorite part. I, I I they shouldn't tell you how easy it is to do this. But Sebastian, 
I, 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 actually, I actually need this because I suck at computer files. Wait, really? Nine months for OBS to work for me. Okay. Nine months. Okay, okay, I'll debate that on you later because of how we did this, but whatever. Imagine if you can delete your own existence with the click of a button. Please do. Someone. Leave it to me. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. We got the good ending, seed ass. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Hmm. Alright, here you go. I like... Hmm. Emka? Moika? Mo I like... Mia? Mania? I like Anka? Aw, Monica, you're not even hopping at our choices. You couldn't even... I like Mocha, any... that's a good Mocha. anime. Mon. Mocha. Moya. Mock. Y-N-A. Y-N-C-A. Yuka. Oh. Yuka. Nick. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. M-K. Mark. Ana. Oni. Onia. Ah, uh, okay. Mika. Ka. Mi I like how we're still taking this seriously. Mazia. Onia. <laughs> Am I? Me! And, and Pokemon! Da, 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 da. And then some. I like to imagine you somehow get a strike for that. Hi again, Seb. Oh, okay, I right click. Hi again, Sebastian. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Ah, Sebastian. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy... Oh, you actually can read it. Yeah. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The coach and down on upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world. Sounds like Chara. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, actually, oh, I remember. Yeah. Dismantled this crumbling. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. That. This I mean, that's not. I mean, that's. Yeah, that is kind of funny. I remember. I remember that dialogue. And I was thinking like this, like, uh, whatever. But you can keep reading. Yeah, it's a funny thing. Is she fought so much against so fate in the game that she played right into the game's hand. Mm -hmm. And Pretty write much. a novel of her own fantasies with a flick of her pen. The last finds a way in a world of infinite choices. Behold the special day after all. Now our good time must come to an end. Yeah, sure, whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into poems. I write. I see no cut like Yori did. <laughs> the truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go in detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you got it. Shop, that Tisk, bolt. Tisk, and break into the fourth wall can be the most annoying thing. I just Unless assume. your name is Anna. Deadpool actually do makes it really fun. Oh, right, I forgot about Deadpool. <laughs> I said Deadpool like five times in this video. Yeah, and somehow I still forgot. Just assume there would be best to That's be a memory problem. Paul like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file of you before playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now, we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Sebastian? So many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this up. How the hell? She what the absolute hell? She looked at our test files. <laughs> uh, Monica, I hope you can say hello to our audience if it ever grows so high. Uh, okay, that's creepy. I got honestly chills on my shoulder. How? How? What the hell? Oh. Uh, I, I can explain to you later. <laughs> Can't read your comments from here. Creepy, but do mind telling me your friends is a little bit rude for them to start recording me without anyone. I'll, How does uh, she know you're here too? What the hell? I'm sure some people don't mind. 
but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. You and many other Monikas. I feel like I'm being put on the spot right now. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? No. <laughs> you want to see a trick? Oh, actually, wow, the windows. We can see our recording time now. Yeah, I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Oh, intense zoom up. Dun dun dun. Michael Bay. Explosions. I'm just kidding. Okay, I don't know what you came about, but okay. Can't do anything after all. If you give me. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Screw you! Uh, I, want, I think that should be the thumbnail. You're yeah. so cute, thank you. Anyway, Sebastian, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as I can get as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Alright, yep. Sebastian. There is no mending, cause we got the good ending. <laughs> Do you wanna... If we, now I can see that we've been doing this for 41 minutes. Do you wanna take a slight... just a slight pause? I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, yeah, you guys will be able to see the next video. We're going to upload this at the same exact time. So yeah, you'll probably see like part... Uh, this is probably I think this is like part 10. So you'll be able to see part 11 pretty soon. Because I just want to do something. Real quick. Anyway, but we should still do an outro just very quickly. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. The, oh. oh yeah, you'll see what this conversation about is on the next part that is already uploaded. Alright, see you. see you very soon.